Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank God so much that we are able to meet once again here. Glory to God. And listening to the word of God is a great thing. You see, we create time for everything. We should also create time for the word of God. We create time for friends. We create time for holidays. We create time to wake up, time to bathe, time to eat. Why not create time for the God who keeps us alive? This is Pastor Dr. Ray Cassis coming to you once again with a message from God. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, bless us today. Make your word simple, make your word clear, make your word understood, and make us willing to follow what your word says. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The message I would like to share with you is titled, No Other Option. The message I would like to share with you today is titled, No Other Option. No Other Option option no other option you see friends when you are in a situation where you have no other option you are in a tight situation if you are in a situation where there is no other option you are in a tight situation if the only thing you can do is what is at hand then you are in a tight situation all we can say to you is that you have no other option you have no other option. You are stuck. You must just do this thing. You have no other option. You either do it or you don't do it and face very bad consequences. Listen, friends, you have no other option. You see, friends, you could have been dodging medication, dodging medication, but the moment you are declared sick and the situation is very serious, you have no other option than to take medication or die. You have no other option. You have no other option. If you are caught in the wrong, and all the evidence is against you, you have no other option than to own it up to apologize, to face it up, to face the consequences. You have no other option. You have run out of options. When you have so many options, you can go left, you can go right, but when you are in a situation where you have no other option, you must just deal with things as they are. The message today is titled, No Other Option. The Bible gives us a situation where we have no other option in Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 and 15. Just after Jesus had given the Lord's prayer and taught us how to pray, Jesus made a statement immediately after prayer and he says, For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. You have no other option but to forgive others. I don't know what others have done to you. I don't know what that man did to you. I don't know what that woman did to you. But you have no other option. You have no other option but to forgive. Jesus made a condition that if you yourself are expecting any forgiveness from God, then you have no other option than to forgive. You have no other option. You must just do it. You have no other option. Somebody may have caused death, but you have no other option but to forgive. Somebody may have, may, may have caused you a great loss, you have no other option. They caused job loss, income loss, they affected your business, they affected your well-being, they affected you, you know, your, your self-esteem, they affected your life. You are so hurt, you are so deeply hurt that every time you think about it, you tremble. But do you know the announcement I have for you? You have no other option. Yes, that boyfriend played you, that girlfriend played you. Yes, you caught your spouse cheating against you. But can I tell you something? You have no other option than to forgive. Because if you don't forgive, our Heavenly Father will not forgive you. You have no other option. You have no other option. I'm telling you in the name of Jesus that you have no other 
option, no other option than to forgive. The person betrayed you. You had all agreed together how to work together. The person betrayed you in the process. You got hurt and the person escaped. Somebody conned you money and you are really hurting because you lost that money. Somebody affected you or somebody infected you with a serious disease. Listen, friends, you have no other option. The message today is you have no other option. The Bible says you must just forgive. For if you don't forgive, God will not forgive you. And that's the end of your life as we know it. You have no other option. When it comes to the question of forgiving those who offend us, God did not give us many options. He just told us forgive. There is no other option. He just told us forgive. You have no other option. When you read in Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 to 20, the Bible says, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. That the moment somebody offends you, don't sit back waiting for them to apologize. Mm, I will not do anything until he apologizes. Until she apologizes, I'm done. Until I hear apology, until I get an apology, that is not Christian. There is nothing Christian about that. The Bible says, if you are offended, you who are offended are to initiate reconciliation with your offender. Because the offender may not know they offended you. You may be there assuming that they know they offended you and they don't know that they offended you. And so the best thing you can do is to get to know that you have no other option. You have no other option. You have no other option. The only option available to you is to forgive. The Bible says that you go and show the fault to your offender. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. Verse 17, if he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Verse 18, truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you, if the two of you agree on earth about anything, they ask, it will be done for them by your heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered, I'm in there, I'm there in my name. What is Jesus saying? We must do everything as individuals, as friends, as family, as close members, and even as a church to ensure that people who have disagreed are reconciling. We have a ministry of reconciliation, Second Peter, Second, Second Corinthians chapter 5. We have a ministry of reconciliation. We have a ministry of reconciliation. And we have no other option. As a church, we have no other option. It does not matter how big the offense is. We have no other option. So when you come to me and explain how big the offense is, I will also, I, I may agree with you quietly and say, mm, indeed, true, this person has been offended, but we only have one option on the table. We must work towards forgiving that person. We must work towards forgiving that person. We have no other option. The message today is no other option. We have no other option. And the Bible says whatever the church will agree on earth will also be agreed in heaven. We have no other option. When you read Romans, let's turn to Romans. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, we'll read verse 17 to 21. Romans chapter 12, verse 17 to 21, the Bible says, Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If somebody does something wrong to you, don't do something wrong to them. Do not repay evil for evil. That option is not available to us. Verse 18, if possible, so far as it depends on you, live at peace with everybody. As much as it depends on you, not the one offending you, as much as it depends on you, you must live at peace with everybody. It depends on you. Therefore, live at peace. Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, revenge in mine is mine, I will pay, says the Lord. It says, don't revenge. Anyone offends you, don't revenge. 
God will revenge. God has promised that revenge is mine. I will revenge, says the Lord. So you have no other option. You feel like you need any revenge? God says, that's my department. You have no other option. You don't deal with the revenge. God says, I deal with the revenge. Has somebody hurt you so much that this must just be revenged? God knows. And he says, that's my department. I will revenge. For you, you have only one option. Forgive, 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 forgive. That is your option. You are forgiving of a person does not mean they will not go through punishment. So don't be afraid and say, oh, if I forgive them, they may not be punished. No, forgive them with your whole heart. Restore the entire relationship for you have no other option than to do that. And when you do that, God will bless you. And in his own time, he will revenge. But if those people repent, God will forgive them and restore your relationship. You have no other option than to forgive. Verse 20. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Listen, friends, we have no other option. We live in a world where we are offended every day. We have no other option than to forgive. We may be offended repeatedly by the same person. We have no other option than to forgive. That is the only option. Any other thing other than forgiveness, God deal with it. Don't deals with it. We have no other option. Our dear Heavenly Father, we realize today that we have no other option. There are so many people we have offended and so many people have offended us. And we really feel like revenging. We feel like breaking the relationship. We feel like hurting them one way or another. But today your word tells us that those options are not available to us. We only have to forgive. Enable us to forgive. Empower us to forgive. Teach us how to forgive so that we will only deal with the option of heaven. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We have no other option.